This Kool-Aid pie has been all over the internet and we are making one today. Don't go nowhere. Please don't go nowhere. I want you to see this. Hey guys, what's up? Jackie Daddy Cooks here. Thank you so much for tuning Cooks. in today. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button and join the family. The star of the show today is Cherry Kool-Aid. Cherry is our favorite. And also, we're going to be using sweetened condensed milk. And also, original Cool Whip Keebler Graham Cracker Crust. Look at all the pie crust that's available to make your life easy. Look at our delicious cherry Kool-Aid pie. Can you believe only these four ingredients? Graham cracker crust, Kool-Aid, condensed milk, and Cool Whip. Oh my God. It's that time. Let's get started with some Kool-Aid. Now you can make your pie with pecan pie crust, walnut pie crust, mini pie crust, or shortbread pie crust. Or you could use dough that you put in the oven. Or you can make your own pie crust by hand with graham crackers and butter. That's all it is. Now look, they even give you a pie cover with the crust. We're going to pour our condensed milk in a medium glass bowl to get started. I must admit, this is the thickest milk I've ever seen. I'm scared. I've never seen milk like this. Condensed milk is just milk and sugar. We're going to go ahead and mix it up, stir it up bring it to life so that we can mix it with the kool-aid properly we don't want any type of difficulties do we no we have our cherry kool-aid pack and we bust out the scissors to cut it open because i don't want that kool-aid on my fingers because it's like a dye that stuff does not come off it's stained anyway we're gonna just pour that in the bowl and look how vibrant instantly immediately that color just pops isn't that a beautiful color I absolutely love it. I love cherry. I love the color. It's so pretty. We're adding in eight ounces of Cool Whip, the full container. Don't get the sugar-free kind. Get the kind with the sugar, the good kind. We're going to continue to mix well to make sure there are no white streaks. We want one solid color. That's the goal is to blend absolutely well. Isn't that pretty, guys? turn from a vibrant cherry to a beautiful pink color look at that crust beautiful crust already and everything let's just fill it up to the brim with our beautiful pink cherry pie kool-aid filling looks so beautiful it's gonna taste so good please meet me downstairs in the comments and let me know if you have ever had kool-aid pie and if so what is your favorite flavor of Kool-Aid pie? There are so many choices. We have covered our pie and we're going to close it, lock it, seal it. And it's going to be in the refrigerator for approximately four hours or if you could wait overnight. It's been four hours, so let's see what's happening here. Let's unlock it, unseal it, open it up and see exactly what's going on. That four hours went by quick. I washed two loaves of clothes. I folded them and I put them away. Wow. Let's see what's happening. Y'all ready? Let's get this baby cut it and see what's going on. The most important part is the taste test. It's the moment of truth. Looks like pie. Cuts like pie. Let's see how it tastes. I've always wanted to try it. Let's put a little whipped cream on top for decoration and added flavor. Gotta make this Kool-Aid pie look good. I got my favorite spoon ready. Let's go in. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh, this is good. Oh, mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. So good, guys. Oh, you guys gotta make this. I am impressed. I went ahead and put some whipped cream on it. I didn't think it was gonna taste this good. Let me have another taste test just in case I'm tripping. Mmm. 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 I am shocked. Ooh, mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Ooh, good. Ooh. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yes. Ooh, the last bite. Ow! Mmm. 
You guys, please try this pie. If you haven't already, I'm impressed. Thank you for your support. Thank you for sticking with me. Please check out my other videos. If you have any questions, meet me in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.